Welcome to the Q&A segment of Transparent Conversations powered by LG. I'm MJ Acosta Ruiz and today's topic is women in sports. I'm thrilled to be joined today by our panelists, Dr. Cecile Reynaud, Claire Lessinger, and Lainey Higgins. So let's get into it. All right, getting some questions. I love when there's audience participation and yeah, people yeah. can join in. And because it is a silent situation, they did write in their questions. So we have quite a few here. Okay. Um, I love this one. Is this a turning point for women's sports following the record at Nebraska of 92,003 fans, as we were talking about earlier, now having a professional volleyball league? Dr. Renan, I'll have you answer. Of course it's a turning point. I mean, I think, uh, again, there's an opportunity for women to have a career in volleyball and play in the United States and make some money. Right. And be and provided health care and play in front of their families and friends. And so it's a definite turning point. I love that. Um, there is one question, but I think it's more of a statement. and says, who is going to win the national title on Sunday? Badgers with three <laughs> exclamation points. Um, <laughs> anybody have, <laughs> have uh, uh, any guesses or... or not even a rooting interest, but just in, in terms of, well, I love the sign, 92,003 for Nebraska. Um, make it possible. Um, I, I mean, I think just the competition here today is tremendous. Um, for me, it's already, because you know, once you get to the tournament, anything can shift, oh, yeah. anything can happen. Um, so I won't put you guys in a position to have to pick to pick a winner. Like John, John Cook me. got National Coach of the Year, by Ooh. the way. And I think his team is very young. There we go. And. Uh, all right. They're good. Context. <laughs> Context. Um, Cecile's playing to her audience. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see all the Nebraska fans out there. So thank you. She read the room. She read I the know, room. I know who's um, out there. Who are your favorite, most talented players of the fi- of the tournament final four? Any? I mean, I'm got to remain pretty unbiased sure. over here. Um, but gosh, I mean, they're. I gotta say, I mean, what Mayor Beeson has done this year. Mm-hmm. Um, the, she, there are so many. They like there it. are so many, <laughs> and they all have like, they all have shiny moments. I think yeah. these are just these are teams that are loaded at every no position. Yeah. And to go back to the first question, like truly any one of these teams could win. So mm-hmm. I don't even think it's worth taking a stab at. Right. Um, but Lainey probably has some some big time role models in the gym. Who are your favorite players, Lainey? I am really inspired by Lainey Choboy. I know she's just my same name, but <laughs> um, I am really inspired by her. She just has such grit on the court, and she is a DS, and she's a freshman, so it's just really awesome to see her shine in every way possible. I love that. Okay, I love this question, and I'll have each of you answer it. Uh, who was the, if you can see her, you can be her person for you? Dr. Renata, I'll have you start. Uh, that was my volleyball coach, Linda Dollar. And I, I just loved her. She's still a mentor for me. We're still close. She's the one that recommended me for really everything I've ever done. So I'd say it was Linda Dollar. Claire? Mary Wise, my uh, collegiate coach. I remember I say this all the time. It's not always the most intelligent comment, but my favorite class in college was three to six at, <laughs> at the practice facility. Um, <laughs> yes, I knew I wanted to coach, and it really was because of my experience I had at the University of Florida being coached by Mary just inspired by her daily so I went straight into coaching because of truly wow. the experience I had she has a lot of former players in yeah. coaching and I think that that's a tribute to her no question Lainey? I think mine's been Claire mm-hmm. she's done so much for so many women and she's been always so inspirational to me and I've always been able to look up to her ever since I was a little kid and so just being in my life has been so inspiring we're gonna have to hug okay. this out at the end yeah, I, know. I guess so <laughs> sweet I love this moment for us um for me, I, I think of the women who really paved the way, uh, Lisa Salters, Pam Oliver. I mean, there were so few women of color um, really doing it in sports that those stood out to me so so quickly and so boldly. And to this day, to have been able to work alongside them and to speak with them and, and garner from their experience and perspective. I mean, forever indebted for, for the roads that they made. Um, oh, I love this one. What inspired you to join this panel today? Lainey, you go first. Um, I think just showcasing the power of visibility and womenhood, especially as athletes, and learning from Claire and from Cecile. So I think just learning about them and being so open-minded and vulnerable. So I'm really inspired by all of them. 
Well, we've already talked. I have a problem saying no. <laughs> <laughs> so when Claire said, can you do this? I went, yes, of course I can do it. And it, it's a thrill to be involved, and I'm honored to be here. I, I have a similar response. But when I saw what it was, what it was about, mm -hmm. I mean, I was all in. And yeah. so knowing that we were going to talk, this was going to be our topic, yeah. this was going to be the topic, and it was going to be transparent, and yep. it was going to be in this type of setting, yeah. um, th there's nothing I love more. Yeah, I mean, um, these conversations, especially around mental health, especially around women in sports, uh, have been such a constant for me throughout my career. I've never shied away from having these conversations, so I felt it was just such a natural fit, um, and to be able to do it at this kind of venue right, and this right. kind of, uh, of platform was just a tremendous honor. Uh, this is a great one. What advice do you have for girls and young women starting their athletic career today, Dr. Huff? Uh, I think they've got to know they're enough. They, mm. They've put in the time. They've yes. got to have the confidence. And I think coaches, it's their responsibility and parents to mm -hmm. give them the confidence. We don't have to tell them that they're really good if they're not, but we've got to give them right. the confidence. Keep going. They've got to know that they're enough and step forward and just go for their big dreams. I love that. Claire? I mean, Lainey hit this earlier just in, in her own kind of self-drive, but it, it, it's like the work ethic. You know, I just think the dream big mentality is really important. Mm -hmm knowing they can really do anything. Hopefully yeah. they're looking around them and seeing, you know, yeah. other women in spaces that they aspire to be in um, and that they they grind, right? You, you have to work for everything. It's not going to be no given question. to you. And I definitely yeah. never want to be given an opportunity or a role because I am a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to be the best person for the Period. job. Yeah. Um, and so I think, you know, knowing that they have to work hard to outshine um, is really important. All right, lady. I think taking advantage of the opportunities, um, you can so many opportunities lead to even bigger things and yep. so taking advantage of those and then realizing that you are enough and I know you said this but I want to emphasize it again because it's just so important that you're not yeah. defined by the sport you're in. No question. Um, I think my advice would be even in the toughest moments if this is truly what you want to do find the people to lean into to keep going because we need you. We need you here. Take up the space. Be loud about it and fully lean in to your talent, to your grace, and to all that you bring um, to this world. Um, okay, I uh, think we answered this one, who are you rooting for to take the championship? <laughs> um, I love this one, final question. How does it feel to have such awesome fanfare at the w WBB Championships? Claire? I mean, this is a dream come true. As mentioned, yeah. 14 years in the making, but also we've been on the clock for 12 months mm -hmm. trying to create this type of experience yeah. and environment for the fans, the student athletes, and our local community, right? Mm -hmm. It's really important that this event leaves a lasting impact here. Yep. Um, so all of the, not just crossing T's and dotting I's, mm. this was about sprinkling sparkle oh. everywhere um, to ensure that this memory for everyone that is in Tampa is going to be their favorite. Oh, I love that. I think fans really make the experience so much better in the sure. games because not only are the athletes more into it, but so are the fans. Yeah. And so it really makes it so much more competitive in this scene and the stadium so much more electric. And so I really love how much the fans are into it this year. Yeah. Right. And I think we've got a great group of fans. And, and again, Nebraska, is all they're always great sports. They're going to mm -hmm. cheer for good plays yeah. all the time. So I think you're going to see a fan group that's knowledgeable, and they're going to see some great volleyball. Yeah, we have a more sport. One last sporty question. The Pittsburgh coach said in his interview he wasn't concerned about the strong fan base here in Florida for Nebraska, <laughs> if you agree with that. They, they're going to cheer for good plays, so they'll, right. they're going to cheer for Pittsburgh if they're playing well. So I, right. think, I think that's what makes it a great environment, is yeah. that people that respect the sport and respect the athletes. No question. I literally said that today. So that's <laughs> the greatest thing about our sport. No, the fans, you know, the really loyal fans that understand mm -hmm. the game, they cheer when there's greatness. Yep. Um, so, yes, they're loyal to their fan base, but they understand when something great takes place. I love the influx of questions. Um, I'd love to leave the floor to you guys to give just a final message um, for everybody who's out here supporting these women, supporting these athletes uh, before we wrap this up. Dr. Renault? Well, I'd like to thank him for taking the time mm -hmm. and the energy to be here and really being passionate about supporting women's sports. Yeah. I don't think they're going to ever be disappointed and that the young women are going to really appreciate it. No question. Claire? I would, and I'd like to give a shout out and a thank you to everyone that's listening as well. <laughs> I hope you soak up these next few days in Tampa Bay. Um, we're so excited to have you here. Um, and truly, like, 
soak it all in. Watch these women yeah. um, be phenomenal right. um, and celebrate them and cheer for them. Maybe. Um, I also want to say how much I appreciate you guys all coming. Um, I think coming to these conversations and listening in is a step forward yeah. into the right um, successful mindset. So I'm really happy that everyone showed up. and um, So I want to thank you. And I also want to thank LG for having us yes. on. Um, this was a conversation that needed to be had. Mm -hmm. And I really have appreciated it and learned so much through it. Yeah, our voices matter. They're important. And they carry, they carry a lot of weight and I think a lot of hope. Uh, for the future and what's to come and if it inspires just one young woman to follow her dream of being in the sports landscape of following her athletic um, dreams then we've done our job thank you all so much thank you thank all you. for listening and for tuning in we appreciate you and let's go have fun let's thank go you. watch this tournament <laughs> thank you thank you all. thank you for joining us on this episode of lg transparent conversations for more episodes and to catch up on season one check out lg transparent conversations on spotify Apple Podcasts, or at lg.com slash us slash transparent dash conversations. LG, life's good.